CES, or Consumer Electronics Show, is the world's biggest technology conference happening in Las Vegas, and I'm gonna go through the 27 best technologies that I saw during my time here. The first one is Withings Omnia. It's a deep health screening. It's like a scale, a smart mirror, and you get to see a whole bunch of data information about your health, whether it's how you slept, different kinds of scans, your blood work, if you're getting sick or not, the weather for the day, and if you potentially have AFib. This is a concept product, but being able to jump in front of a smart mirror and get all this information, as well as connect with your doctor and schedule an appointment could drastically change our healthcare system. Next is a robotic vacuum that can actually pick stuff up and move it out of its way so it can clean the floors properly. If you've ever had a robot vacuum, it can get stuck on objects. And these new ones have an arm that pops out, grabs the thing, moves it out of the way so it can keep vacuuming. Roborock and Dream were two companies that showcased their versions. Dream even had a version that can go up small levels and a cool pool cleaning robot as well. Then came these crazy glasses, the Halliday Smart Glasses that have a small screen built into the glasses where you can get notifications, directions, live translations. There's no actual screen that's inside of the lens, but it's built into the frame of the glasses. I tested it out, it's like a small green display. The glasses were super light, and I could definitely see myself using this on runs or everyday use cases for getting any information that I need quickly and easily. And robots were endless. SwitchBot had a multitasking household robot where there was a vacuum on the bottom, you could have an air purifier in the middle, and then a table on the top, and it can move around the house to bring you things, to clean the air in different parts of your home, depending on how dirty it is. It seems the future is gonna have a lot of robots in our house. This pillow is something out of this world. It helps you prevent snoring by using AI to measure when you're snoring and move your head to each side of the bed. There's also a unit that measures the lights and temperature and humidity in the space, as well as a Fit Butler AI that can help you sleep better and live better. You can't have the best tech conference without flying cars. There are two companies that showcase their flying cars. One was Richter and the other was Xpeng Aerot, which looks like a cyber truck, but out of the back comes out this magic flying car helicopter thing that you can take anywhere and then it packs back into your car so you can drive off. Seeing this in person was absolutely insane. The technology just kept getting crazier. Next, we went to Samsung and got to see the Samsung Health booth where they're showing how they're going to integrate with Dexcom, Medisana, Burr, and be able to give you AI insights based on your health to help improve what you need to order for your fridge, figure out recipes based on the food that's inside your fridge, and give your family recommendations based on how they're feeling, if they're not moving, and using every single gadget in your home to make you healthier and happier, as well as bringing the frame art to every single Samsung TV. And if you love eating, this is the new AI barbecue by Brisket. They have one before, but now they released a newer model that's smaller at half the price. You're able to put anything in there, Use the AI to cook it perfectly as you'd like, whether you want it rare, medium, or well done. Even if you forget, it makes sure to keep your food warm. Now, smart toilets, smart bathrooms. Vivu is another brand that has smart pee strips. They also release some women's health test strips as well for pregnancy, fertility, and vaginal pH tests. Now, they're going to be introducing blood tests that you can do at home, as well as a smart toilet that you don't need to do anything. You just put it in your toilet and it measures data from your urine and tells you if you're off in any terms of your well-being. So you can make sure to get more things like water, magnesium, vitamin C, whatever it is. And one thing I love is when brands collaborate. Garmin and Therabody are collaborating on this new app integration where you can use your Garmin fitness data to get recovery recommendations through Therabody. So let's say I run a lot, I cycle a lot, whatever it is, the Therabody app will use AI to give me recommendations on what I need to do with my massage gun, my massage boots, to make sure I recover as quickly as possible throughout the day so I can be ready to go the next day. Now, if you're someone who hates flossing, this new toothbrush helps you do water flossing and brushing your teeth at the same exact time. It has it built in, it has one minute of water flossing available. It's by Sucos, the multi-clean. I can't wait to test this thing out. And LG always shows off their amazing transparent TVs. I think this one's $60,000. You can see through the TV and then something slides up to be able to block that and turn it into a regular looking TV but this feels like technology of the future. Now, air quality is a very important factor for me, and AirThings released their Radon air quality monitor in conjunction with their regular air quality monitor to make sure you have the healthiest air possible. Now, bio wearables are the future, and Abbott did release Lingo last year. It's finally available in the United States, and they showed how you can use this app to track your glucose and make better decisions with your nutrition and workouts so that way you can optimize your health for the best performance possible. And they showed off their new version of Pedialyte that helps you stay hydrated and make sure you recover from your workouts. And speaking of blood glucose, Invitro has a laser lancet, so I hate finger pricking myself because it hurts so bad and it's like just a tough process, but Invitro has a laser lancet that can penetrate your skin, get just enough blood. Oh, oh wow, I didn't even feel anything. 
with a truly painless experience. It's coming out later this year, and I really hope to have one of these in my hands. It's a great way to calibrate your continuous glucose monitor using your actual blood glucose data. If you're fearful of invasive procedures like the other two, there is a non-invasive version coming from Elixir where it uses near-infrared light to track your blood glucose levels. I'm still unsure in terms of how accurate these things are, but being able to see technology that has this potential is very exciting for the future. Some say that it's rumored to come in the Apple Watch one day. And the health products were endless. There was smart clothing from Mayant where they can track all of your biometrics inside of their workout clothes, their regular daily clothes, and even a way to control prosthetics using some of their technology. Smart clothing is definitely the future. Then came the at-home fitness tech. I tried AMP, which is a very sleek Apple looking hardware that sits inside your home and you can do a ton of exercises with massive amounts of magnetic resistance. You have fixed, eccentric, and band type of modes. If you need to get a pump in with a limited amount of space, like I live in New York City, this is a great product that allows you to work out in your space, be able to put it away and still have a sleek, beautiful design. There are actually some fun games similar to like Guitar Hero, but with strength training, where I had so much fun, I forgot I was working out. Now, if you know me, I love traveling and this was an electric RV of the future from AC Future. This thing popped up to a massive 400 square feet with a living room, a bedroom, a kitchen, a shower that I actually fit in, and it all compresses so you can drive it on the road. You can turn the driver's seat into a desk and office space by putting the wheel away. Imagine having a home on wheels with all these features that look so sleek and sexy like this. I would love to test one of these out in the future. And then came the smart rings. There were endless amount of smart rings. So many brands. JC Ring had a blood glucose monitoring smart ring. Luna Ring by Noise, which uses a ton of AI to give you advice and input. Renfo, the smart scale, has a very budget-friendly smart ring coming out. Rincon is releasing a cheaper smart ring as well to make it more accessible. And Ultra Human released their Rare by Ultra Human, which is almost $2,000, but you get the highest amount of service, as well as Ultra Human has an air quality monitor too that they released earlier this year. So many health products and smart rings were launched this year. It's crazy to see them all, and I can't wait to test them all. The next smart home device that blew me away was by Speedience. There is no subscription required for this, which I absolutely love. And you can do almost any lift that you want. They offer a bench, a barbell, dumbbell, different kinds of modes for different intensities and requirements. I think if you're someone who needs a gym at home with a small space, no subscription, and you want to write your own workouts, this is the perfect device. If you want to see a review, let me know in the comments below. And robots. There were endless robots. There was a robot making coffee, a robot making ice cream. Xbot wants to put one of these robots in every kind of venue. Then we saw the future of scooters and bikes. Segway and Ninebot released some faster scooters, which are insanely fast and have very far range, as well as new scooters. We do use one of their smaller devices for filming videos. So seeing them announce these new exciting e-bikes, which almost look like motorcycles was truly amazing. Now, if you're a runner like me or an endurance athlete and core released their core body temp too, which is smaller, sleeker, easier to put on, easier to charge. They have some hardware in there that hasn't been activated by the software, but they're going to have some new and exciting announcements coming later this year. Speaking of athletes, you need to have good sleep. And I found this smart bed cooling device where they actually do it passively instead of actively. It's the Peppa Minto and it keeps you perfectly balanced throughout the night. I've tested eight sleep bed jet and sleep me. So I'm curious how this will compare. It's exciting to see new competitors coming into the space. And speaking of sleep, I like to have an easy way to turn my lights off and flick is a easy to use smart controlled button where you can change the brightness of your lights, control your lights and do a whole bunch of other smart home automations. These things are so small and so easy to use that I think it makes smart home automation that much easier. And one secret product I discovered outside of the CES Expo was Rock. This helps you get more reps, use bigger weights, and have faster performance times. It's a palm cooling device, which requires no liquids like the Ava cooling bar or cool mint, if you've ever heard of those. You charge it up, you take it to the gym with you, and you use it for up to two minutes to help you recover quicker and to get more reps in during your workouts. I finished off my CAS day by doing a grip strength test at InBody. They have some new smart scales that I want to test for my new body fat videos. The highest I've ever gotten in my life was like 172. Oh, so let's see. I haven't been training as much, but let's see how high we can get. Go hard. Wow, we still got another half a day, right? I ranked number one, so let's see if I stay number one. This is CES 2025. My name is Sherman Shares. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications down below. Follow me on all the socials like Instagram and X at Sherman Shares. Let me know which one of these texts you love the best in the comments. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.